Hi, Sandy Mackey with a little bit of heavy breathing just before midnight. I got a cool email today in my Tut Note from the Universe, and how appropriate since we're going through the Insights Mastermind book and putting those stories together. So my note from the Universe today said, Sometimes in hindsight it may seem that your prior kindnesses were for naught, and that in the end they were too high a price to pay for the pains you've endured. That is, of course, until you get a little further into the future, when the pendulum has been allowed its full swing, and all the seeds you've sown have begun blooming in more gardens than you ever knew existed. Kindness always returns. How appropriate. And with that, I am going to share with you the next installment in the Insights Group Mastermind experience. My first introduction into the Insights world was accidental. I was coming home from school for the weekend, and I stopped at my mom's office to meet her for coffee. The building where she was renting her space was the strangest and coolest office I have ever seen. There was a sandbox in one corner and a Christmas tree in another. Giant, comfortable couches and chairs were in what appeared to be a common area. It was the Insights building. We headed out for coffee, and upon our return, we were greeted by some very friendly people. The office was empty when I had first arrived, but it was full of energy when we returned. I was greeted by Sandy, Al, and Betsy. They seemed so happy. I couldn't understand it. They were at work. Why were they so happy? Over the course of the next semester, I heard plenty of great things about my mom's Insights friends and what a great impact her mastermind group was having in her life. It wasn't until I returned home for the summer, though, that I got my first real taste of Insights. I needed a summer job. My mom, being the rock star that she is, posted on Facebook about it and racked her brain for people who were looking for some help for the summer, while I went around and got great <laughs> and got job applications in town. In a matter of days, my mom had remembered Sandy was looking for some help, connected us via Facebook, and arranged a phone call. I started working for Sandy real part-time, a day or two a week. It didn't take more than a few weeks for her and Al to decide to have me come in full-time. This was the best thing that could have happened to me that summer for several reasons. What follows is my first blog post on the blog that Sandy created for me because she insisted that other people need to read what I write and not just about swimming pools. They say the five people you spend the most time with are the people you become the most like. If that's the case, then this is, most for then this is the most formative summer of my life. I often joke with my friends that all I do is work, sleep, and hang out with my mom and my boss. It's hard to find time to spend with my friends because while I work 9 to 5, they work more evenings and weekends. I truly do see more of my mom and Sandy than I do any of my friends. But the more I think about it, the more okay I am with it. I'm not sure about my top 5, but the two people I'm spending the most time with lately are definitely my mom and Sandy. They're both amazing women who have turned from authority figures into people I would call my friends. That's what's cool about growing up. You can be friends with adults instead of them just being in charge of you. Sandy and my mom are both motivated and passionate women, and I would be honored to become more like either of them. I'm finding, though, that I already am. I guess the saying rings true. They really are rubbing off on me in very positive ways. I'd never be sitting here writing my first blog post for my website without Sandy's unfailing support throughout this whole summer. And, of course, my mom has always been there to support me on every step of my journey in life. Without the two of them, I'd be doing what I had planned on doing this summer, working at the golf course in my town, or waiting tables, or working retail, or flipping burgers. Don't get me wrong, I'd have been glad to get any one of those jobs, because I'm a college student saving up for a semester abroad. But I'm endlessly grateful that I fell into the job I have. Read, my mom got me the job I have. Working for Sandy and being inspired by her passion. The five people phenomena, as I'm going to call it, has definitely worked in my favor this summer. But it can work in the opposite direction, too which is obvious to me when I compare this summer to last summer. Take a step back and look at who you're spending the most time with. Are they people you wish to become more like? If not, I'd reevaluate. Find the people in your life, or find new people to put into your life, if you need to, who you admire and spend more time with them. You'll be changed, and I'm pretty sure you'll be happy about it. As the summer went on and I started to realize I could count these amazing women and all the other incredible people I met through Insights as my friends, I found myself becoming more and more intrigued by them. I couldn't understand why they were all so cool. This group of people was made up of the most fascinating people I'd ever met. How did they all end up in one place? 
When Sandy and Al decided to create a next generation mastermind group, I found my answer. Last night I took my walk into the world of masterminding and I'm never turning back. I don't think I could explain it even if I tried, but I can say it was life changing. Coming into the meeting I had no idea what to expect. I knew the insights group was full of cool people with good things to say. I knew some of those cool people would be there and I knew there would be equally cool college students there too. So I expected some interesting conversation and as always happens when I'm talking with insights members, I expected to think. What I didn't expect was everything else. I didn't expect to be so inspired. I didn't expect my brain to be pushed in ways I didn't know it could go. I didn't expect to spend the 30 minutes drive home thinking about the book I had just decided to write. I didn't expect to have a full page of notes, quotes, ideas, and book recommendations. I didn't expect to leave feeling so connected with everyone sitting around that table. I've spent my summer getting to know some incredible people through the Insights Group, and now I understand why they're all so amazing. When you get a group of creative and intelligent people together, the synergy in the group becomes unstoppable. Together we can do anything. We can work through any problem. No idea is too challenging. No dream is too big. And if you spend enough time with a group of people like that, you might even begin to believe it. That's what the inside secret is. They believe what most people only dream of. I'm looking forward to continuing with our mastermind group, and I can't wait to see what comes next. The few meetings we were able to have before schedules, school schedules got busy and meeting got tough changed my life. They opened my eyes to new ways of thinking, and they showed me why all the insights people were so cool. They're awesome because they work together to make themselves and each other better. The power of the collective mind is truly an unstoppable force. Of course, any one of the Insights members would be an inspiring individual without the group. But with the group, and with the help of mastermind groups, they have the power of the collective mind at their fingertips. And that is why I found myself consistently amazed at the similarities in all these different people, despite all their differences. They all collaborated to create a collective mind they could each use and make a part of them. So in addition to each individual personality, there was the force of the collective mind in each one of them. I spent the summer with my mom, Sandy, and so many other fascinating and inspiring members of the Insights Group. I experienced never-ending graciousness from Sandy. I was being offered anything she had. I couldn't understand why these people who had just met me seemed to like me so much, or why they were so willing to help me. But help me they did. Every single person I met that summer helped me more than they know. Some did it intentionally, some unintentionally, but each and every person I met through Insights impacted my life completely. My eyes have been open to countless options for my life. I've realized that I don't have to follow the path society deems appropriate. I've been inspired to evaluate my life, where I want to go, and what I want to do. I don't have the answers yet, but I know I have a bottomless source of support and inspiration. I couldn't be more thankful for the opportunities with which I've been provided through Sandy, Al, and the rest of the Insights group. As I write this, I sit surrounded by bags and boxes. I'm packing up to leave school and head out on an incredible adventure. In a matter of days, I'm leaving for a semester in Greece. But before I leave, I'll be flying to San Francisco to complete the final stage in a job interview. A year ago, I never would have thought I'd be applying for a summer job in San Francisco and I definitely wouldn't have thought I would be applying for a job that I am. But Insights has inspired me to take steps in new directions. The Insights group is full of people who create and inspire. They found something they loved to do, and they did. They created it. As for me, I don't know what I'm going to create yet, but I do know that I will create something, and when I do, I have Insights to thank. Wow. So thank you, Jesse, for sharing that. You know, Jesse did come into our lives last summer, and what an incredible person. The phenomena that I experienced over and over and over again with insights is that people surrounding us just seem to find us in amazing ways. So it's not that we collected this group of really inspiring thinkers that became masterminders and things like that. It's that we had an intent for the kind of people we wanted to hang out with and the type of thinking and ideas that we'd like to be able to have. And almost as if by magic in some cases, people just seem to find us. 
and it all works. And like Jesse was saying, everyone has so many common attributes while we're such a diverse group. Think about the ability that we each have to impact lives around us. I don't think we always pay that much attention. And even in all of the amazingness that's gone on with insights, I don't know that I ever really stopped and looked at any one person and said, okay, we're changing their life. But as all these stories have come in and people share, each in their own special, unique way, how just being a part of something greater than themselves has changed their life, that's inspiring. And when someone can come into our life and put into words as eloquently as Jessie does about the difference between um, her life after having met this incredibly awesome group of people and maybe her life and where her thoughts were before, the significance is profound because life's not hard and it is just that easy. And if you have any wild and crazy idea, and this goes for someone who's young or someone who might not consider themselves that young, but age is only a number, um, this should inspire you that any thought you have is absolutely possible. Because Jessie is studying in Greece right now, and from the adventures that I'm reading about on her blog, she is having a grand time. So, I think one of the takeaways from this is to daydream and let your mind wander and think about just what is that thing, the biggest, craziest, most amazing thing that you can possibly think of. Think about what that is and then tell someone who has an insightsy way of thinking because you'll get positive reinforcement and somehow that wild and crazy thing that you think might not be quite reachable, well, you have a conversation with someone from Insights and they'll ask you why hasn't it been done already because it's extremely possible and it's the next logical step in the progression of anything that you decide to do. Until next time.